Probably be a member. Oh! Konnichiwa, minasan, haji Max and Max, so it's going to show you how to make a Max, you're going to show you Max in me. Hi, everybody, welcome back to another brand new live video for the girls, for the children, and for the big red neon pastel animal print fantasy today with none other than the big red. Barbara Mosey is here. Hey! You guys, we just finished our Instagram live not that long ago, and we're going to snatch up Barbara Mosey's nails. If you guys have been paying attention, we added six new colors to the website because we have officially dropped the Neon Pastel uh, Ballerina Gels. The colors are not on the website yet, but I will show you guys what they look like here today. They are stunning. They are ready for the strip club. They are everything in a bag of chips. We dropped, bye bye. We dropped Neon Pastel Yellow, Neon Pastel Ooh. Coral, Pink, Violet, Fuchsia, so many fantasies. and. Since this is IG, the girls in IG always come through. Let's do a giveaway, mama. Ooh, mama okay. Comments. So let's try to get to how many likes do you want, Barbara? Mmm. I don't know. Mm. What do you say, 20? 20, 20,000 likes it is. So if we get to 20,000 likes by the end of this video, we will give away one of our famous drill diamond bits for the girls. Ooh, yeah. Who doesn't want to win? Not that. One of our famous diamond bits for you to use for the fantasy. So let's get to 20,000 likes, you guys. Come on, tap that screen. Tap, tap, tap. And what else is going on? We're going to use City Stiletto. We're going to use Taffy Gel. And for. Code? Huh? The oh, the code? discount. Thank you for reminding me. So, whoa, whoa. oh, excuse me. Oh, that candy gave me. As you guys know, I got a big old bag of Soviet Union candy, and uh, I had one. That was the only one in there, too. It had a uh, fizz in it, and I don't do carbonation, but it was good. It tasted like like Sprite and baking right. soda. I just got my diamond bit today. I won last week. She's like, she's in love. Got my package today. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. You guys, don't forget that this week we have our back to school promo code because in Arizona, they start school this month. Mm -hmm. And the promo code is school30. S. C H O O L 30. 30. Enter it all together at checkout, one word, school 30, and you will save 30% off your entire purchase here at enocouture.com. So let's put our apron on so that way I don't get uh, dust all over my new shirt. Mm -hmm. I like the shirt because on camera it doesn't look like it's sparkly, but in person it's very subdued. It's very. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is actually rhinestone. Mm. And I don't like stuff with rhinestones. I'm not trying to look like Liberace or Elton John. <laughs> not today. Back in the day, maybe. But that's how you know I don't have real friends, because nobody said, Hey, Max, you look like the Swiss milkmaid. Hey, Max, maybe you should cut your hair, because it looks like you have a Dolly Parton wig on. Nobody said those things to me. No. Somebody wants to know, what do you use on your on your lips? I have it here. I did. I did know that was fizz. Mmm. Melting candy lip balm, it's mm. called. Let's put a little bit more on. And now the big trend in Asia is to like put it right here, where Cupid's bow is, right there. Uh -huh. So it looks like you were eating Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I actually have naturally big lips. That's the only thing on my face that's still real. It says, and we have oh. a whole bunch of different colors of this too. Not sponsored. And it's not too bad, actually. Not sponsored. That's right. Real friends will let you know you look whack. Yeah, that's true. Barbara never said anything. And I've known you for when I used to have long hair, Barbara. You didn't say, Max, you look like Dusty Springfield. That's because you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, With my did. big old blonde teased hair that was long. Or I looked like those, um, like in England. Order in the court. Order. Oh, with the wigs on? Yes, that's what I look like. Mm-mm. So, enough of me rambling, you guys. Let's turn this camera around and begin the snatching because we've got a lot to clean up on Barbara. Yes. And don't forget, tap that screen, you guys, and promo code SCHOOL30. So, here is the before. And here is the after. They're very small. Very, very small. But cute. They're giving us career stripper. This yellow slaps though, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, so I want the yellow on one of these. You flip it around, flip it, it around. Flip, flip. So we're gonna start by pushing back the cuticle. And I was telling Barbara that she's never seen Silence of the Lambs. A little bit closer to me, girl. There you go, I won't bite. Barbara, she's she's very picky about her men. It's gotta be 18 inches, she said. <laughs> Y'all know Max is making this stuff up. <laughs> He's acting a fool. Um, I went to go see Saturday, Long Legs. And honestly, that movie gave me low-key nightmares. It's very good though. It's very reminiscent of Silence of the Lambs, but for a very modern audience. Cause it has some of that very like panhandle acting and those long shots of nothing. Yeah. But it's uh, honestly like for me to say the movie kind of like gave me a little bit of nightmares, it did. But that's because it has to deal with the occult. And I try to avoid those kinds of films. Yeah, the Miami Glam they say, Akira's. That's right, she's getting ready to go to Miami. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido, Ami, Ami. That you're hilarious, Max. Why? What did I say that was funny? Oh. Barbara's hilarious. What is it called? What is what called? I don't know. The movie? The movie was Long Legs or what? Yes, the one with Nicolas Cage is in it and he doesn't look like Nicolas Cage. He looks like Richard Simmons before he went peace out. Ooh, Luna says she can't wait to see Long Legs. It's it's very intense. So we're going to go in with the Russian manicure drill bit set. We're going to use the flame shape bit and we're going to begin to clean out all the crusty molesties. And this is available exclusively in the Russian manicure drill bit set. It will be available a la carte later this year. But right now you can only get her in the Russian manicure drill bit set. Tap that screen you guys, send those likes. We want to do a giveaway. Let's start the week out strong. Ooh, yeah. That's how we roll with Big Red. Yeah, let's do and it. And Barbara Mosley has never seen Silence of the Lambs, you guys. That really shook me. Yeah, I haven't. I, I, it just, I know, I just even looking at the... So I told her I would get her the book, and she's like, oh, that's, e that's even worse, man. Yes. Yes, tap away. All right, Luna. Drea says, hey, gorgeous. Hi, my love. Thanks for joining us today. You getting ready for the club? Barbara is. Hey. But she's fashionably late though. Barbara don't go on stage until after one. <laughs> Cause she's a headliner. Yes. Save the best for last, right? That's how we roll. <laughs> Oh, Barbara, you know you can uh, audition now for uh, Miss Arizona? Really? Yeah, they got rid of um, age requirements. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. And weight and height. Do, 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 oh, so you mean there can be some biggins in there? Well, I think and it was... And some skinnyins? Well, I think Miss Alabama is quite large and in charge. Like, very, like, you wouldn't expect her to be a... Well, there are different categories of beauty pageants. Yeah. You would expect her to be on the plus size spectrum. Uh-huh. But she is, no, she won Miss Alabama. Wow. So, kudos to her. My happy, happy fingers are going. Oh, thank you, Venetia. So, we're going in with the diamond mm. flame and just very gently begin to create that pocket, okay? Yeah. I have so much. So much I to clean. Do. Barbara, I wasn't invited. Rude. <laughs> I would vote for Barbara to be Miss Arizona. Uh, they let a thickens win. That's awesome. But they need to let Barbara win. They don't know. They don't know a brick house until they seen Barbara, though. Uh, well, yeah. Wow. And you can be married. You could have children now. Oh, really? Yes. So this is Miss America? Miss Universe. And oh, Miss, Miss USA. Universe and Miss USA. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was gonna say Miss America went that lax. But I'd I think it's surprised. I think it's a mixed thing because then you know it takes away from what the pageant is traditionally. Mm. And if you have children or family, you can't be traveling around for a year. Yeah. Yes, because my big back need that title. That's true. My big back. <laughs> my neck. My back. My, uh, uh, okay. and my, uh. Me too. <laughs> oh. Lish, Lishé, Sangria. So love you, Max. I love you more. But Barbara, she's her kids are older now. She's single, ready to mingle. She can be Miss Arizona. 
I know you don't like to talk about other texts, but I have to ask you, did you hear a comment? Nun? Nuni? I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Let me see. What? What the comment was? I don't know. Do I what? Did you hear a comment Noonie or something? I did not know. There we go. Oops, sorry. How much you like to interrupt? Very much. Yes, submit. There we go. Sorry. Okay. I was just keeping it charged. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go in with our nippers. Oh, yeah. Got a nip, See, nip, and they nip. just look so yucky, but then when they're finished, they just look so beautiful. That's why it's really important to create the pocket so that way our nippers can go inside and clean everything. And nip, nip, nip. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. I don't understand that comment. I don't either. So I'll just. I'll Let's just see let if she it elaborates, but. I don't have anything bad to say. Can we charge? Well, I don't. Too I don't much know him personally, so. And I don't speak about people I don't know. Yeah. Or other nail techs, or other products, so. I heard Max's new ombre gel is fire. Can't oh wait gosh. to get me some. Honey, ombre slaps. Mm. I need to get the Russian manicure bits. Yeah. Oh, it is essential. Awesome. And, and right now you can get them 30% off. Hi, my love. It's little baby Raina. Do you still have your nails on or did you chew them off already, little baby Raina? <laughs> so I'm using my pink nippers right now and very gently going in and cleaning out. It is. Mine is on the way and I can't wait. Oh, what did you order? Yes. Hey, pretty girl. Honey, honey ombre. Very gently. Remember, the secret is you want to try to nip everything off in one piece. And... Wow, did you see that blow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you barely want to open up the mouth of the nipper when I'm nipping. going to try Dom Top Plus. It comes in this week. Oh, awesome. That is our thick semi-hard gel top coat. Oh, really? Yes, it's our thickest gel top coat. It's great for like a lot of glitters, or uh, people that are really hard on their nails or that want to add volume to their nail. Dom Top is great for that. I also hope it comes tomorrow. So Shannon ordered a question. Please, can I use manicure water with easy bit or just diamond bit? Just diamond. Okay. Because the it won't have the exfoliating particles because easy bit is a carbide bit and you need the diamond particles in order to buff out the skin. Okay, sorry Max, this guy states as nail techs, we charge too much for our service. Ha, huh, no way, no way. I would say, you know, if you have a question about what he said, you should ask him, not me. Yeah, uh, but I say you guys don't charge too much for so your service. So I have no comment from the peanut gallery on my end. Mm, okay, well. I'm a person who goes to nail techs and knows nail techs, and no, I don't think you charge You have much. nail techs in your family. Yes, I do. I am the worst person to ask how much a nail tech should charge because I don't do nails for a living anymore. Right. So I'm kind of out of the loop in that respect. Um, I know that nails definitely don't cost what they used to when I did nails. So every time I ask, somebody asks me what is an appropriate price to charge, I say, you know what? Ask around. Right. Snoop around. Find right. out how much, how much uh, other people in your area are charging, and then you can price your services accordingly to what you know the price is on the market. Yeah. Because well, obviously prices are very different in let's say like Mississippi oh, yeah. versus they are in you know California. Exactly. So 
You gotta well, ask you around. Mm -hmm. Everyone is an artist. It depends on who knows their work. Just getting your opinion. Thank you, my darling. And then another thing I would always ask people was, um, how much do you want to spend? What are you looking to spend? And then I can tell you what I'm offering. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good thing. So, and very rarely did I have people get upset about the question, but some people did, and they would be like, "Oh, you don't think I can afford it?" And it's like, "No, it's not that. It's, I want to know what your I budget is." I want to know what your budget is, and then I can tell you I what I'm working with. You, yeah. And it's a very fair question to ask. I'm an L Tech and recharge for the experience, knowledge, and supplies. There you go. I like that. For the whole shebang. Yeah. So I'm going to go in with my pink silicone sanding band if I can find it. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know she's didn't here. you oh, put it, it over there? It. <laughs> yep. So, yes. But people always just try, trying to start drama with me, huh, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Drama finds me. I don't find it. Um, where is it? You had the little box. The pink oh, box. Oh, the box? Yes. Oh, Here they yeah. are. Beautiful. There you go. Okay. I remember back in the day, especially in big cities, mm -hmm. like in LA, you can get full sets for $15. I remember. You would think that uh, New York would be like outrageously expensive, but it's not. You get no. deals. I think when you're in a city of eight million plus, ten, I mean, it might be ten million now. You know, in all the boroughs, mm -hmm. everybody can get a lot of business. You and know? you know, some boroughs are more expensive than others. Mm -hmm. But one thing I do always tell people, especially when you're trying to build up a clientele, is set yourself apart from what everyone else is doing too. Offer something that nobody else in your area is offering and um, they will come. Yeah, that's And don't true. focus so much on social media, trying to build up your social media. Focus more on word of mouth. That's free and it is the best, most impactful way that's to build true. up a clientele. Because that's true. your your client's hands are your business are your calling card and they spark a conversation mm-hmm Barbara how many people ask you all the time where do you get oh your nails oh my gosh at? all the time like if I leave here and I go stop at the grocery store people will stop me like if I'm picking out fruit and I'm, I'm in the produce area and I'm picking out somebody walk by oh let me see your nails mm -hmm. oh, let me where did you get your nails done? And that's how you the know, conversation starts. You know, at the starts. checkout, where did you get your nails done? The, and always. That's how the conversation starts. Mm-hmm. I'm starting out, so that's good advice to have. Okay, Luna. It's a little bit of primer. Let's see the thumb. No, we're gonna go in with City Stiletto. Let's measure these bad boys. Ooh, I need to uh, tap, tap, tap. Come on, you guys, let's get to 20,000 likes so we can do a giveaway at the end. Who doesn't want to win something? That's right. Who doesn't like something for free? I know That's I right. do. Okay, now we're gonna use our famous nail tip prep to etch the inside of the nail. Oh, did you get another one? No, it's no, the same that's one. The, that's the one. The taffy gel is the what taffy. I need. Yeah. But I think there's some there's still some inside. So we're gonna go in and scrub the inside to get okay, a beautiful. Ask me where I get mine done. I say I did them and I tell them about your products. Oh, oh see, so there nice. you go. That yeah. sparks a conversation. Uh, if somebody asks me about my nails, I'm like, I don't speak English. Because <laughs> I don't like talking to people I don't know. 
Oh. Even though it's like yeah, trade shows and things like that, obviously I have to because right. it's my job. That's why I don't do trade shows anymore. But like I don't, I'm not the kind of person to spark a conversation with a stranger. Mm. Like the other day I was downtown mm -hmm. and this lady was like, I like your style. And she was just going on and on. And I was like, oh, I need to go now. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Especially downtown Tucson, that's dangerous. Downtown Tucson, it's a piece of cake. Well, for you, Barbara. So the secret to using nail tip prep is you don't want to brush it on just like that. That's not going to do anything. You got to take that little brush and put your back into it. Go on, do it. Go on, do it, do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Like Barbara Mosley at a Keith Sweat concert. Yep, same, I'll be shopping. This side at work and just showing all the girls in my office. Oh, that's really nice, Luna. So we're going to go in with our taffy gel. So Shannon and Luna. Are the talk of the town. Yeah, they promote your products. That's wonderful. Barbara, get ready because you're going you're gonna to come in right now. There is not enough in there. Remember what I told you? A yeah, little goes a long way. I know what you told way. me. Yeah, but you can't even get a smidgen out. There we go. Just barely a smidgen. Uh, um, Kahira mm -hmm. says, I'm the same way. I don't do people. <laughs> She's just kind of laughing. She's like, I avoid them. Run away. Me too. Uh, sis is yesterday at work. I'm cool. I'm clear I'm addicted to LOL. I need it all. I'll have female couture. <laughs> That's a good kind of addiction. Where's your tube key, Max? Oh, I almost fell off my chair. Did you? Yes. Because they ain't got no ants. Well, that's why I'm saying you had a good point. I don't know where it is. <laughs> See? The, you just need a little bit, like I told Barbara. She's like, Max, you need more. You need a new tube. Right now you can get a tube of your own, 30% off using promo code SCHOOL30. School Isn't that sad? Barbara told me today that we are number 49 out of 50 for the worst public schools in America. For the worst education. For mandatory school age. Who was number students. one? Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. Barbara. Oh, oh, oh. That was not okay. very ladylike. Oh my god. Let's just guys. pretend that didn't okay. happen. Just pretend you didn't hear that. That was not very becoming of a lady in waiting. Oh, it's not. Oh my goodness. So you guys know now. My secret's out. I'm sorry. I just clenched my pearls. Yeah, he did. <gasps> I was like, Barbara, what would the beacon say? Yeah, what would the beacon say? <laughs> but my phone didn't crack. Life is good. Life, is, the Lord is blessed. Is uh, has blessed your phone. Yes, indeed. Another <laughs> she is just laughing so hard she cried. Shan, sh uh, Shannon's laughing. Luna's laughing. Barb dropping the ass bombs. I love it. Oh God, it just came out. I don't know. I've been reading too many. Uh, Get your flashlight ready. Oh, I've been reading too many uh, novels. Yeah, adult novels. You know. Well, you need to contain yourself, Barbara. They're not very becoming of a lady. No, they're not. They just got me going. I don't know. Okay, hit me. Where am I? Am I hitting it? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can turn it off now. Perfect. That was not a lady in the streets and a freak in the hey. street. That was a freak everywhere. <laughs> Go ahead and freeze that for me. Oh, oh, what did they say? Uh, what does this song say? I want a lady in the... Uh, yeah, says I want a, a mm -hmm. lady on the street and a, a freak in the bed or something. Yeah, whatever that yeah, song, yeah. Oh. You can do that one now. Barbara, you got me twisted. I thought we were really down. 
You know what Barbara's song is, you guys? What? She's living in a gangster's paradise. Oh, I love that song. Oh. He went peace out too. You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's the only one I felt the burn on. The crump. I felt the crump. Okay, that one needs some more. That's right. You guys notice his technique for pulling it off? He just slides it down. I'm going to trim very gently. Because I have lots of... Phalange fantasy. Yes. That needs to be trimmed. Yes. So let's get a little bit more taffy. The polishes smell so good. They do. So the, the pastel, neon pastels, you guys, from Ballerina Gel do have scent. Glory did put scent in them, finally. <laughs> but they were supposed to smell like roses. It oh. smells more like candy. Maybe the neon ones smell like candy. Oh, okay. I like that he slides the nail versus some people popping them off. Yeah, that's true. Love that cuticle girl means you're, you're healthy. Oh, thanks, David. Just got the number one gifter badge. Wow. Come through, number one gifter. All the stickiest substance secreted by the human body. Huh. Didn't know that, David. But Barbara's not sticky, though. She's moist. <laughs> Now you got me laughing. Are you ready yet? Yes. Where am I? Uh, Press down firmly. Make sure we got no bubbles. Okay. Now I can feel the crunk. You can feel the crunk. Uh -huh. Okay. Turn upside down. Let's make sure there's no excess gel. If there is, remove it before we cure. I'm using our famous orange wood sticks. They are iconic. And now we're going to do the inside a little bit. Oh, so the other movie we saw, not last week, but the week before, was Maxine. Was that a remake? No. Of the original Maxine? Mm -mm. It is the final installment in a trilogy starring Mia Goth. It was what in are the other two movies? Pearl and X. Oh. And it's about an adult film actress that is allegedly involved in the murders with the Night Stalker. But oh. it was a more it was a cult that was uh, after her. Let's bake that now for one minute. Very good movie. Each Maxine, each movie from the trilogy is very different in tone and in style. Really? Yes. For example... Is it the same uh, producer and director yes. for each one? But one is like based kind of like on the grand movies of back in the day. Very like oh. over the top and very oh. bright. Technicolor. Oh. Then the second one is based in the 70s, so it's a little bit more gritty. Uh -huh. And then this one is based on the 80s slasher movies. Wow. But uh, you should you should watch them. They're very good. Really? You can watch X and Pearl. They're streaming already it, on everything. Is it similar to Looking for Mr. Good Bar? I've never seen that. You should watch Looking for Mr. Good Bar. What about One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Next? Anything about it? But when you come out of that movie, you call me. Look. Or when you stop, Let when me you look stop it up. watching, Looking for Mr. Good Bar. Sounds like a candy bar. No. Do you want me to put it back in? Yes. It's a film from 1977. Yep. Oh, Diane Keaton. Mm-hmm. You like to read about movies? I don't. Oh, I she like likes it rough. Too. She likes it rough, it says. Well, Barbara likes 18 inches, so 
<laughs> now I know why you want to. <laughs> no, that has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> I, I was I was taken to see that movie and I was floored. On a date? Yeah. Really? Was it Max? Mm -hmm. Wow. I was floored. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Maybe that was yet. that was an interesting first date. Well, it wasn't a first date. Oh, it was. My oh. first date was seeing they shoot horses, don't they? I've never seen that. Old movie. Really? Cara Monaco. She told me the first date she went on with her husband mm -hmm. was American Psycho. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah, that's a good movie too. I like that. Have you seen American Psycho? I have. Have you read the book? No. I've heard the book is the book is banned in a lot of countries. Uh, I can, from watching the movie, I could understand. <laughs> the movie's not that bad. Oh, okay. That's he, why I'm not gonna go see what you just saw. But I think it's it's a very good uh, book to movie uh, adaptation. So let's taper oh, the tip someone in. Someone said, um, "Will you ever come out with your own acetone, Max?" No. Okay. Acetone is, is very it, hard is, to ship because it's very, um, it evaporates very easily. Yeah, it does. And acetone is is chemical well, and there's not a whole bunch of changes you can make to it. No. Except. If you dilute it, then it doesn't become as potent. Potent, right. And different chemicals have different shipping regulation, regulations because uh, based on their flash point. Uh -huh. And all of our products have a very low flash point, which makes them uh, uh, able to ship by air. Mm -hmm. And acetone is not one that you can ship by air oh, because of yeah. the flash point is different. So right. no, we don't have any plans to launch any acetone. How many watts are your uh, nail, nail lamps? If you go on the website, love, it'll tell you in detail. I don't want to give you the wrong information because I don't know off the top of my head because I got a lot in there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know off the top of my head. I don't uh, recall. Daisy wants to know, do you like techno? Techno? What kind mm -hmm. of techno music? I don't know. OMG, I love your music. When I feel down, I usually dance. Mm. Oh, go ahead, Daisy. Get it, girl. Get it, get I it, like get it, girl. That. We're going to use the refined bit. I am a horrible dancer. I wish I was I a good dancer. Just got the number one gifter badge, David Newark says. I was doing gel X type of nails, and my skin can't take the stuff. I need to order yours very soon. You know ours is vegan, hypoallergenic, whoops, sorry, and hema free and made in America. And we have a huge variety. And right now we have a 30% off sale using promo code SCHOOL30. 30. 30. Yep. So we're using the refine bit to go around. There's a German, I know it's a Dutch movie I want to see, but it's really hard to find. What's it? It's called Mascara. Oh. And it's about, um, it's about a, a slasher that goes after transgender women. Ooh. I heard it was really good. Mm. They were commenting about it on um, one of the reviews from Maxine. Mm. Luna says, I love the lamp that came in our 123 Go set. Which one was it? I don't know. David said, uh, as far as the uh, not doing your own, uh, what you call them? Acetone. Product. Acetone. Mm -hmm. He says it's flammable too. Uh, 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 uh. All nail products are flammable, but they're, the flash point for them to explode is, you, it has to be like over 400 degrees. Acetone is a little bit uh, less. <laughs> Necesitas says, I just got my order the other day and you're about to run another sale. Let me run back to the site. She's like, let me get that Klarna, baby. Now we're gonna go in with the easy bits. What's the name of the movie again? Mascara. It's a Dutch film, but I think it might be available in English. I've looked on every streaming platform and it's not available in America. Hmm. There's a DVD that you can buy from it, but... Uh, and does it have... Um... I don't know, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. Because who orders DVDs in 2024? Then my mom's going to be like, oh, what are you watching? I was like, a movie about a, a, a slasher that goes after trans girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, okay, you enjoy that. It's a very niche film, I believe. But on it, it sounds really good, though, doesn't it? But if it's not 
Couldn't you do subtitles or something? Yeah, because I don't speak Dutch. Yeah. I got the Dazzling Darling lamp in the 123 Go set. That's what she got. Hmm. I do like the Dazzling Darling lamp. And there's one named after you too, the Barbie lamp. By the Barbie lamp, yeah. And the difference between the Dazzling Darling lamp and the Barbie lamp are only the finish. One has a metallic finish and one has a pastel finish. And then of course, the piece de resistance is the king lamp. Yes. That's our number one seller right now. Mm. It is the best cordless lamp in the universe. Oh, they call it a, well, I don't say its name. They call it a 45 documentary, David said. What? The movie, they call it a blank documentary. I don't say its name, so I just say 45. Oh, the mascara movie. I guess that's what David's talking about. I'm confused. Me too. I'm so confused. No. Any tips on anxiety? I do great at doing nails for myself and family, but others, I get extreme angsty. Ooh. You're going to have to create a space where you feel comfortable, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, I think so. I think that... And you're going to have to create a... I personally don't like working in studios. I like the, the ambiance of it being busy and, you know, the interaction with different people. But mm -hmm. if that is not for you, then create a, a space where you feel comfortable, where you're um, able to provide a service that you are in control of your space and that's maybe a little bit more intimate and only maybe by appointment. Yeah. That's a good suggestion, mm -hmm. Max. Uh, Kristen wants to know, will you ever sell refill bags of tips? Yes, they come out at the end of this month. Ha ha ha. Good question. Just say the orange man, Barb. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I could call him the orange man. Or 45. So we're going in again with the easy bit just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. We got us tapping. We gotta get to 20,000 likes, you guys. We just said 10. You guys, we're almost halfway there. 20, 10 more, 10,000 more likes, you can do it. Just tap that screen, it costs nothing. And we're gonna give away one of our famous diamond bits. Are you in camera? I don't know, am I? I don't know. I can't see. Yeah. What's for dinner tonight, Barb? You know, I have a taste for tamale pie, but I'm just too lazy to make it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a lot of carbs. You think? Yeah, because it's just masa. It's just dough. No, That's what tamales not. is. And tortillas. No, no. My tamale pie my mom's recipe. What is it? Well. Oh, do tell. Oh, do tell. So you don't use real masa. You mm -hmm. just use um, cornmeal, water, season it, blah, blah, blah. That's mm -hmm. on the bottom. Cheese. We're going to use the care bit now with meat. manicure water. A, a, a meat thing that you cooked up, you know. Um, and um, you've, got, you've got Mexicorn in it and olives black olives, sliced black olives, all kinds of seasoning in the meat part. Mm -hmm. And then you layer it in a dish and on the top goes that the, um, the quote masa, which isn't really masa, goes on top and then cheese. And so you bake it. You could do it without the masa and without the cheese. Then it ain't tamale pie. But it's not going to go to the the moist. Hips. Ain't gonna go to my stomach hole. Yeah. I got the toe tips too and can't wait for them to get here. Awesome. I you hope you love them. You have toe tips? Yes, ma'am. And we have French toes coming out this month as well. Oh, oh gosh. That's just crazy. How do you put on toe tips? The same you do with the hands. I actually am going to finally do a video on the French toe tips when they are ready. My mom has volunteered. Wow. But they but 
they're very short and everything. How do you even handle them? Do you oh, they have a little, uh, little uh, ledge that you can hold on to. Oh. Mm -hmm. Makes it easy. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So now it'll be even more expensive to get a pedicure. But I get a two-hour pedicure, so mine is always expensive. You get a spa treatment. Yeah, but, but I don't want them to do anything but get the calluses off my feet. I don't care if you don't polish my toes. I don't care. Just get those calluses off. Gone. Last time I went, I was just not happy. The guy got tired of working so hard. <laughs> Should have given him a Red Bull. <laughs> I said, you know, because I called and talked to him and everything. I said, you know, it's going to take you two hours to do my pedicure. Oh, no, oh, no. I said, oh, yes, oh, yes. I've had my feet all my life. I know them better than anybody. <laughs> And they are hooves. <laughs> no, they're not. They're just very callous. Callous. Yeah, they are. And it's a genetic callus. It's not one because of the kind of shoe you wear or anything. No, like it's, genetic. it's not. It's genetic. French toe tips. Wow. Can't wait. Says here. They are really beautiful. They're actually right now. They're finishing up production, and they will be available this month. Di Di Diamond says she's loving this shape. This is like City it Stiletto. Too. It's not too long, not too short. You know, it's a good strip, you know, daytime stripper length. A high end escort, if you will. Yeah, now Luna says she's going to get those French toe tips. She's ready. As soon as they come out. Yeah. She's ready. And we're just buffing the top surface really gently. And remember, after you use manicure water, you have to remove it because manicure water does have moisturizing agents in it. And um, if there's any moisture, any oil on the nail, it will cause lifting. So we want to get rid of it before we apply the gel. So we're going to cleanse the nail with just pure acetone, never alcohol. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, now we're gonna take a lint free wipe. Saturate it with pure acetone. And we're gonna cleanse everything. You would never see those nails on the corner. <laughs> That's true. We are at 15K, just five more K to go. On the corner of Wilshire and Bel Air. Okay, why aren't I showing 15K? I'm showing 12.2. What are you showing? Uh, I haven't seen. See. So we're gonna use for the glitter, we're gonna use number 70. Ooh. It's a very cute color. Gonna glitter the same one. Yeah. But I am going to do the color placement difference. Yes. Because Barbara wants a yellow one. I want, the, I want the yellow one. Okay, so we're going to use Ballerina Gel, Pastel Neons. Let's go in first. This is 32. This is the pink. Which one did I do pink there? The middle one. Okay, we'll do the index. Yes. Nice Love thin coat. Love the bottle design so much. Thank you. And you know, Ballerina Gel is cheaper than a Big Mac. Okay, here it says she only sees 12K too. Yep, it's up to 13 now. What did you say about a Big Mac? That uh, Ballerina Gel is cheaper than a Big Mac. Oh yeah. Because Ballerina Gel is only $5.99. Oh, Big Macs are what, $7.99? $20. In Cali I know parts when, of California. I went, when I went to Mickey D's the other day, mm -hmm. uh, it was last week, and my nieces and, and nephew were with me, and my sister, and so they were hungry. Mm -hmm. So um, I went over to Mickey D's, and 
I got a meal with a Big Mac, fries, and a shake, and it was 17 something. Seriously. Were you like, um, is there an error here? Is there yeah. filet mignon in this? Yeah, and, and then somebody says, well, um, the special, they had some kind of $5 deal going. And I said, where the $5 deal? Oh, we don't have it at this store, you know. I'm like, what? I was just shocked. You know? McDonald's has become a luxury item. Hey, fast food, period, has become a luxury item, you know? Mm -hmm. Fast food is no longer cheap. You gotta wait for them to have specials. Five dollars to make, but the five dollar meal. I'm like, how can McDonald's even make money on that? Because the price of beef is so expensive, and so is labor. So I know, but they can have a special, and they sell a bunch. I went to Chick Fil A, and my meal was fifteen dollars. Wow, bake that for me, bro. Yeah. I don't like chick fil It's okay. I don't like internet. You don't like chick fil <laughs> I think, uh... chick fil Chick-fil-a. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big fan of uh, in and out I think in and out is gross. I don't know why people make such a big fuss about it. Maybe because it's oh, regional. Oh, in and out Yeah. Maybe because it's regional, but I don't think it's good. Oh. I like in and out Really? Yeah. I like their in and out um, double cheeseburger. With grilled onions. I think it's definitely and extra overrated. Extra pickles. Yeah. Let's see. What else? I don't need it for Burger King. Really? It's, Why? Makes me sick every time. Really? Yeah, I don't eat there anymore. What about Whataburger? What a big ass burger. <laughs> what a big a double S burger, really? Yeah, that's what we always called it. Are they that big? Since I was big? little. Since I was little. Are they that big? Well, they were substantially bigger than any other burger. I don't think anymore. Do you want me to put them back in? Mm -mm, we're going to do our second coat. Second coat. Okay. So this is gel polish yeah, 70. Yeah, they're, 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 they're still bigger than other people's burgers. I don't know about they now. They have a larger circumference. Yeah, Sonic. Yeah, that one. You know... I've never had a Sonic burger. What did I get from Sonic? Hot dog. Or their uh, drinks. Yeah, it was a hot dog. Their drinks are very popular. Yeah. And what about uh, Carl's Jr.? Oh, it's Hardee's on the East Coast. It's well, okay. Yeah, well, it used to be Hardee's here, too. Really? We used to have Hardee's. Until it became Carl's Jr.? I don't know. All of a sudden, I, I moved away and I came back and it was, it was Carl's Jr. Oh, what about Roy Rogers? That's an East Coast one too, isn't it? Uh, that's one you see along the uh, expressway exits, you know, when you're hungry. Roy Rogers? Yeah. Is it good or not really? Uh, it's been so long since I went to Roy Rogers, I can't remember, so it must must have just been okay. Basic. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a Roy Rogers. Lord's Chicken Palace, LOL. <laughs> Which one's that one? Chick-fil-A. Oh. Thank you. I hate in and out <laughs> Somebody doesn't like in and out She's got taste. I love Sonic soft pretzels. Oh, okay. Well, I've never I used that. to love the tater tots from Sonic, but the last time I had them, they were so greasy. Really? I was not vibing them. Yeah. You know, somebody's not uh, doing what they're supposed to do in terms of uh, okay, keeping up it. the quality. These colors are everything on Barbara. Yeah, Make your hands yeah. in all the way. I'll move it over so that way. Yeah, it's in all the way. What do you guys think of the ballerina pastel neon colors? Are they a vibe all the time? Yeah. I was telling Barbara, speaking of a vibe all the time, I saw these clips of Krishan fighting with Blueface. He really is really toxic to her. He really like psychologically abuses her. Wow. And he's ugly. Here on the East Coast, we have like Habit Burgers, then Checkers. Yeah. Oh, Habit Burger we have here too. Yeah, we do? Yes. 
Oh, I haven't seen it. Sonic and some other usuals. They are a full bright vibe, she says. Who Sonic said we have here. Luna. But the colors, she said they're full Aren't they everything? Vibe. Yeah. So really I have nice. already cleaned my brush. Oh, come in. on, folks. Tap, tap, tap. My brush saver. Let's do it again. This will moisturize your brush and clean it at the same time. Blue face is terrible. Can't stand it, Luna says. I don't even know who these people are. Krishan Rock and Blueface? No. I have no idea. And he, like, you know, he, he must what have her on do? something. He's a producer. Oh, what show is he on that you are watching this? No, I haven't seen the whole show. I just saw clips of it on, on What's YouTube. What's the name of the show? I'm not sure. It's on Zeus do TV. You, do you want me to put it back in? Mm -hmm. Do you watch Zeus TV, Barbara? No. Neither do I. But I I think I should splurge the $5 a month. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. It's a show with, like, all kinds of, like, girls and... That fight with each other, like bad yeah, fighting, but pulling you, hair and things like that. You know, from experiences, a lot of it is staged. Well, I don't know about hers because she's missing a tooth. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody got her. Got her good. So this is our black painting gel 001. Touch, press, and pull. Yeah, this um, this a blue face guy sounds like a hater. He doesn't really like women. He, he just like, likes to abuse them. Like Ike Turner. He's like the ge this generation's Ike Turner. Oh, okay. Speaking of Ike Turner, did you see the uh, Broadway in Tucson uh, schedule for the fall? What, are they going to have uh, something on Tina? No, they were, that already happened. Okay, I told you if I you wanted so. to go and you didn't want to. Yeah, no. I and, thought it already happened. And it was really good. Remember I sent you videos? Mm-hmm. You did? Uh, yeah, the, he really is. The uh, when she was starting to do better, Blueface pulled her back down. Wow. Really? Because she used to be really pretty, and now she looks. Ugh. She looks ugh. worn and haggard, huh? She looks used and abused. Mm. That's a shame. And she had his baby. Oh. Ugh. Mistake. She's from the Big B. Oh, uh, Baltimore? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And her mom got 12 kids. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, in this day and age, that's a lot. That's a lot of kids. Look how yeah. cool they look, Barbara. I know. You're ready for Miami with these. And you guys, I'm still using the same art gel that I used from our Instagram Live. That's how long and how little it will last, uh, like how a little goes a long way with this. Keep tapping, we're at 17 keep the tapping oh wow it didn't dry out nope, nope. <laughs> no it did not it did not dry out because we're live you would have seen me have to squeeze some more out but i didn't have to mm -mm. so we're going to go to omar uh barbara and get perfumes out there we should the capital is called muskrat Muskrat? Muskrat. Like a muskrat? Yeah, but that's the capital of Omar. Muskrat. They say musk 
rat instead of muskrat. I don't speak Arabic. Moose sounds more Arabic than muskrat. It's definitely English. Muskrat. Muskrat. But it's a conservative country, though, where you're going to have to cover up that body, girl. I know. But honestly, I like women of a certain age dressed up covered. I think it looks very becoming and elegant. Yeah, it does. A little goes a long way. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it does. And I've never really been to the Middle East, but now that I want to buy perfumes out there, I'll bring just back a suitcase of just the perfumes. So, so you've never been to... The only place in the Middle East that I've been to is Lebanon. Lebanon, oh. And that was a long time ago. Wow. Like 15 years ago. Really? Yes. Wow. So you've never been to... Um, Dubai. Dubai. No, and Dubai, honestly, it's it's, it's like so Las Vegas commercial. without yeah. the casino. And I think yeah. Dubai is lacking the the Arabic culture that uh, other countries, countries might have. have. Yeah. A friend of mine moved there to teach. She said it was really very, very... She totally enjoyed herself. She said it was really different and major adjustment and you know but the infrastructure is really cool in those parts mm -hmm. that part of the world because it's new so like everything is modern and shiny and bright yeah. yeah black rose said hola max hello my love hola hola what is the goal for today Twenty thousand likes my lovely yeah black rose goal is 20k oops we're at 17 7. Barbara, you don't watch any of the 9 Day Fiancé shows, huh? Mm-mm. Oh, you're missing out. Why? So good. What do you mean, I'm missing out? They're so good. Okay, bake that for me. It's wild how people think, especially when these women... Yes, this is the women. Marry men from certain parts of the world that are from very conservative countries. Uh -huh. And then when the man tells them, oh, you know, I want you to convert to my religion, or I want you to dress more modestly, they get upset or confused. And said, so, girl, do you know where you're marrying him from? Yeah, um, I mean, you can't be that stupid. That's just for the show. You can't be that dizzy. Just being dizzy. They want to raise their children in a certain religion. And it's like, well, I mean, do you know where he's from? Yeah. <laughs> what were you expecting him? What were you expecting him to be progressive? To, to totally be, to totally throw away his upbringing? And his, his culture, culture? That's embedded into their, their... You know... Into it's their like, society. Stop trying. Hey, if you want them to be like an American man, then marry American man. Or British. Don't, you know. Because there's 90 Day Fiance UK. But it, I was, she was crying because she was like, oh, you know, I want you to convert. And she's like, but I don't want to. And he's like, you will. And I was like, well, I mean, girl, he's from Egypt. What do you expect? Yeah. La sunshine lollipops. In? Yes. And there's one lady, her name is Angela. Uh huh. She married a guy from, what's that country that has a lot of fraud? Nigeria? Or Senegal? Has a, has a lot of what? Fraud. Oh. Like, Nigeria. you get those emails. Nigeria? That, <laughs> a Nigerian prince wants to give you $2 million, yeah. just give me your bank account. Yeah. She married one from him, from there. His name is Michael. Uh huh. And she got his phone, and on his phone, he was a member of a group called Paradise Men, where women meet African men for marriage. And ex he was exploiting her information. Wow. And telling other men how to like marry American women for money and, and get money out of them and things like that. Well, these and he's a lot younger than her. That, can't be that stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he was like, oh, I was just in that group. Later after the, the big fight, she was like, oh, um, you can sleep here because he, he apologized to her. And she was like, oh, you can sleep in my hotel room. You can take it out 19.3. No? Oh, come on, you guys. We can taste the giveaway. Yep. Yeah, but he is from A another user. country, another culture. Do a little bit of checking on your phone. Just a itty bitty, teeny bit of checking. Oh, sure, a you, little bit longer from you, me, Barbara. And you'll find out. You'll find out what the majority are about mm -hmm. and hopefully the one that 
you're dealing with is not like the others, but more than likely, he is. And then there's another one that's 90 Day Fiance, the other way around, where the... What do you mean? The, um, the American person uh -huh. moves to that person's country. Oh. So, like, for example, there's one, she's Indonesian. Mm -hmm. She, her, her and her husband are moving to Indonesia. They lived in Maryland, I think, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And now they're moving to, uh, Indo back to Indonesia. Back there's, to her country. He, yes. And then there's another one where the girl's from California, mm -hmm. and she's moving to Turkey for this dude. And one where the guy is moving to China. Mm. I don't know. Count me out. 22.2 K. Yep, we hit it. Yay! Woo! Giveaway. Yeah, giveaway. So at the giveaway. end of the video, Barbara Mose is going to pick a winner, winner chicken dinner. Yes, I am. Make sure you get those edges. Ugh, and then there's No Neck Ed. Ugh. Who? No Neck Ed. No Neck? Ed. His name is Ed and he got no neck. Oh gosh. And he's, Ugh. Oh, no neck. Ooh. And he's, Ugh. And he's really mean too. So why is he on the show? Because he wants to be on TV, I guess. Yeah, but why did the producers choose him? Because they're so messy. So they, they could have somebody for people not to like? I guess so. But I heard the girl's really mean on other seasons. Um, I haven't seen the other seasons where she was on there with him. Okay, let's bake that for one minute. Let's get our gummy gel and our diamonds. It's not on. No? Uh oh, gotta plug her in. My battery, my juice went out. There we go. Okay. It's on now. So you put down a base coat after you buff the nail tip? No. What did you do? What what step is she talking about? Uh, I don't know. She just watched you put on some coat. That was a gel top coat. Gel top coat. If you missed any step, you can re-watch this video. It'll be posted on YouTube and Facebook. And if you want to watch it now, if you don't want to wait, you can go on Instagram and check out the other hand we did. We did the exact same thing on both hands. Just in case there's any stuff you missed. That way you can go back and take notes. He's going to be the lucky one today. That's right. He's going to be the lucky one. The winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. But you're not going to win a piece of chicken, like an actual chicken dinner look, no. Or a house. <laughs> We're not Egg McMahon. What? Publisher's Clearing House. Yeah. You remember him, Barbara? Yeah, Ed McMahon. Mm -hmm. That was Johnny Carson's uh, sidekick, right? Really? Wasn't it? You get a knock at the door and you're like, oh my god. Did you I win? Need... Is it enough? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to go in with gummy gel and we're going to add just a few stones. Let me take a look. No one has more than three stones. Yes. Not even and the thumb. We were very modest with the stone placement today. Yes. Which is makes it more elegant to me. You know? Because Barbara is a classy lady. Oh cool. Come on. Don't stop tapping. The nails are looking good. Thank you. Love the animal print nails. Yes. You can't go wrong with a good animal print, my love. It's just perfect for Miami. Yeah. And it's so good, you know, because each one is definitely different. different. And we're going to go to the strip club after this, so she's ready. You know, somebody called my videos raunchy. Why? Because she said all Max does is talk about strip clubs and OnlyFans. And I'm like, well, what is she expecting <laughs> to talk about? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. This isn't the Disney Channel. This isn't Trinity Broadcast. No. We gotta keep the girls entertained. Yeah. Ooh. 
that just a little bit of diamond really makes it. It does. Makes it pop. Let me moisturize my lips more. Uh oh, there we go with the Instagram verification. Not TikTok verification. Where? There we go. I have to verify the video or else it gets taken down. Oh, really? They're so strict, Barbara. It's not even funny. Oh. Okay. Were they always strict? Yes. Oh, okay. So, what's his name? Didn't make that change. It was always there. TikTok? TikTok is very strict. Okay. Okay, bake these bad boys for me. <laughs> this isn't the Disney Channel. Diamond is laughing now. So is Kira, Kahira. Because they know it's true. We watch because we want to have fun. We want to entertain ourselves. Girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. And honestly, if you read ladies' magazines, some of them are more raunchy than men's. Yeah, that's true. You read Cosmo, you read those kind of magazines, Allure. Man, they are explicit, let me tell you. Lord have mercy. I clench my pearls, Barbara. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you leave at seven already? I know, I can. Time goes by when you're having fun. Yes, and At the club. Okay, let me. Oh shoot. Barbara, what were the strip clubs you would go to in uh, Chicago? Ooh, I don't know. Any was like, strip oh, clubs. there were so many. Yeah, it was just too many. I can't remember the names. Yeah, right. Okay, let me. Um, I need to pick somebody. Well, we still have one more top coat left. Okay. Is it off? Yeah, it's off. Okay. Oh, my Tesla's ready tomorrow, you guys. It's oh, coming out of repair. Out of repair. You don't drive it that much. Yet you had to repair it. I, I think like it. To I think. Understand. I believe the battery had an issue with the heat. Oh. We had that heat wave. Oh, because it definitely is not made for extreme these heat. These extreme temperatures we're having this year on the desert. Thanks, everyone. It's 9 p.m. here, Andrea says. Where do you live, mamas? You know, I need to pick someone, because these people got to go to bed. They got to go to the club, Barbara. They it's got, Monday night. They got to hit the club. They got to eat dinner. They got stuff to do. Things to do, people to see, butts to shake. <laughs> no, not shake, twerk. Twerk. So what I'm doing right now, you guys, is I'm going in with shiny gel around the edges of the diamond to make sure it don't go anywhere. And work that gel in those little nooks and crannies. OMG, I just came back from Arizona. It was so hot. Yep. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, it was. Tap, tap. Everything. Chicago says Kahira. Yeah, I'm going to be in Chicago. I don't know Barbara. when. Well, uh, uh, my kids are going to just get an inexpensive ticket. I'll go whenever. So inexpensive? Barbara, she don't, you don't fly. It, unless it's first class, not even business. <laughs> well, Barbara's like, I ain't even getting on that plane. Uh, but, you know, okay, that. Tucson. But, you know, you got to... Barbara flies private jet, you guys. That's how bougie Shh, Barbara is. Barbara's like, um, she, we have a terminal here where all the celebrities go. It's called Millionaire. That's where Barbara goes. And they're like, oh, Miss Mosley. <laughs> and she's like, don't look at me. <laughs> no, I don't say anything. Don't speak to me directly. Like Mariah Carey or J-Lo. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> and then she spits gum at them. Who did that? J-Lo. J-Lo did. She gave her gum to her assistant. But the girl was getting paid for it. But that is pretty petty. Yeah, that's real petty. Come on. You 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 gotta treat people with respect. I'm not joking. Even in, when they work for you. Come on. That's why she canceled her tour. She just had so much bad press. Yeah, I kinda halfway remember, but And now she's getting a divorce. Oh, really? Yeah. 
But I'm surprised it lasted this long. And, yeah, in a nasty way she did. Oh, that's a shame. You, you have to treat everybody, everyone with respect. Do you need it in there again? Let's take a look. Okay. Nope, perfect. Okay. Nothing sticky. Okay. Now we wait 10 seconds and then we hit it with cotton candy cuticle oil. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's really not good. Yeah, that's really not good. Black rose. Okay, who am I picking? I tap the screen. Okay. Oh, it says reply to Black Rose. You chose Miss Black Rose? That's what I chose. Black Rose, do you live in America and have you won within the last 30 days? Oh, look at that, you guys. She is serving us, Miami stripper. She's ready for the club. I like it. Let's put both of them in the frame, Barbara. Oh. Here is the completed fantasy. Look at that, you guys. Where do you live, Black Rose? Very pretty, so pretty. Those colors are Chef's Kiss. They're ready for the club. Yes, and these yes. colors are only $5.99, my love. Cheaper than a Big Mac. Yeah. Yeah. And then with the 30%. School 30. That's right. They are basic. I'm The only thing that's left is for me to give you a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> Black Rose, donde vives? Black Rose, you're the winter. She said, Oh, she lives in Jersey. Oh, Come through, God, Jersey. Girl. All right. Awesome. So, what I need you to do, Miss Black Rose, Miss New Jersey, is send an email to info at enocatour.com and make sure you include your shipping details. And we're going to send you out one of our famous diamond drill bits. And that is a wrap, my loves. Look how beautiful these nails came out. Barbara Rosie, she's going to hit the club now. She's going to go make some real money in Miami. Yeah. And we love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. Don't forget to take advantage of the 30% off promo code, which is school 30 and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video bye everybody bye stay safe